YouTube, YouTube, what is good? It's your boy Gaming with Tyree Z back again with another Violet Legends Eternity video. And today we have a uh, tier list video. Um, an update because I'm tired of seeing comments on <clears throat> who's better than who or um, or just asking for an updated tier list. Um, <clears throat> Before I get into the video, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I want to say first off the jump, hold on, let me close my door real quick, <clears throat> off jump guys, nothing has changed much about the game, Um, I don't know why you guys don't just go back and look at my tier list videos, I mean they still get views, and the view, um, viewership on it have been going up quite a lot, but um, this is just an updated video. Um, we do have the newer heroes in this one, too. Um, so, yes, let's uh, go ahead and start this off. Um, we're going to be doing the light and shadow heroes last because they're literally all pretty much very, very good. And discussing them right off the jump would be kind of a waste of time because it's so hard to come across them. So I really want to just focus on all of the factions out uh, outside of the light. And shadow heroes are excluding them because again it's very very hard to come across those guys but um yeah we're gonna get into the video uh first let's start off with the tanks all right we already know s tier is lionel okay and i'm i don't care about the names guys so if i don't remember a name i'm not gonna go look and make the video longer than it has to be um so if you can either get a lionel or cardellan as your tanks you're in good shape um <clears throat> Honorary mentions would be the bear dude. I don't know his name. He's definitely a tier But Lionel and Cardellan are s tier without a doubt. Um, Lionel is going to provide you with again um, Damage and survivability Cardellan is more survivability because once you get him high enough He will apply his shield on himself and another hero with the lowest HP Which is literally God tier and it's it's really annoying to deal with um and the last tank uh this bear guy i haven't used him much but he, he's just decent uh i don't really know his skills because i rarely see him on other people's teams um and i've never really used him i mean i either use lionel or cardellan but for both of my accounts i've been using lionel because i get lucky with him um but honestly if you if you were to ask me to prioritize i would either go with lionel or um Cardellan because they're just ridiculous. Um, another guy that's decent, decently well, I would say he's he's good. Um, Eric, I don't know. I wish I could put him like A plus. I wouldn't really say he's S tier because he doesn't do a lot of damage, but he does shield your entire team. Um, I would put him A tier, but he's ahead of the bear guys. So like, if you could get Lino and Cardell and you're in good shape. If you can't get any of those two, I would go with Eric. And if you can't get Eric, then go with the bear guy. Um, and then this guy, he's like dog shit. Don't even worry about him. Um, any other tanks? This guy, I think, is dog shit. Uh, who else do we have? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I think this guy is a tank. He's dog shit as well. Don't even waste your time. Just use them as food, honestly. They're garbage. Unless you want to like do Guild Wars and stuff like that. But then again, I would use these four people up here for Guild Wars Arena, Magic Expedition, all of that. I would just focus on them four. Um, these three down here, just use them as food. Um, I think that's all for the tanks. Like I said, we're going to not do the Light and Shadow Heroes till the very end because they're the most broken. And they're all relatively really good. Uh, there's really no downfall to using any of them it's just all composition based uh i guess we can go to assassins right off the back i would say uh people have a lot of confusion or, or give me a lot of backlash when it comes to bali uh i was i was remember i, I remember, remember jesus christ this is going to kill kill me by the end of this video i remember uh discussing which one was better and um uh which one was the better assassin either bali or sota um, and again, I'm sticking to my word. Sota is a hell of a lot better than Bali. Um, the only thing that cripples Bali is because his ultimate does not do its maximum amount of damage unless the target is below 50%. If the target is below 50%, then Bali will 9 times out of 10 one-shot the champion because it's going to do the maximum amount of damage. 
but if he never gets them below 50 percent then his ultimate kind of gets negated damn near because it's not doing the most amount of damage it possibly could um with sota he does a massive amount of damage no matter what because he gets more crit and more attack speed every time he crits and he gets more attack damage every time he crits or something like that out of his skills again i'm not going to go over the skills because that would just make this video an hour long and no one wants to watch an hour long video just want to do like a speed really quick video but uh yeah um and then you obviously have terrence who is god tier s tier he's the best because he has a shield he goes invulnerable like he heals himself he's disgusting um if bali had a shield he would literally be up here with terrence but the fact that he doesn't have a, t a shield he does a lot of healing but he doesn't have sh a shield so whenever he heals he still takes damage and he's not very tanky um if you could get like a Cardellan Bali on your team, then you're in good shape. But even then, I would have like Cardellan and Terrence. Like, like that's a god tier broken comp. Um, but yeah, you obviously Terrence is goddamn S tier assassin. And then I would go Sota, then Bali. Trust me, I have a, a 14 or 15 star Bali. I still get trashed because he's not very good. Uh, because he can't have. He doesn't have survivability. He's very, very vulnerable to damage, and that's not good for assassins. The same, the reason why I would say he's better than Sota is because Sota can literally blow targets up with this massive amount of increase in crit damage. Uh, and then you have Terrence, who obviously just shits on everybody because he has an AOE ultimate. Um, he gets shields and he heals himself. Uh, for assassins, I think that's it, right? And then you have uh, Nar or Gnar or something like that. I think that's his name. Um, he's amazing as well. Um, but again, we're gonna take out him, not worry about him. Uh, let's just see if I got every assassin. Ba 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 ba. All right, yeah, I got everyone. Okay, let's go to Rangers. All right, I would definitely say Brook S tier. Because his ability to silence a target, making them unable to use their uh, ultimate. And then every time he kills a target, he gets his uh, ultimate points towards his ultimate. And then he has an AOE ultimate, okay? Um, most of the rangers have AOE ultimates, so yes, that goes without saying. But uh, uh, where's the other ranger at? Uh, Liv, I would say she's A tier because her ultimate stuns. Or petrifies people. Um, I would put Edward as B tier because his snares people and then it like bounces off of each other, but it's really not that great in my opinion. And then um, Darby, I would say she is A tier right behind Liv. She only because her, uh, I'm just going to call it a passive. They don't really distinguish the names for the abilities very well, but her passive every time a, um, an ally dies, she is able to get more attack damage and she also reduces the attack damage of all the enemies so that's amazing um and the percentage decrease is a, a lot like i think at max level it's like 50 percent or something like that it might be even crazier um let's just see oh yeah we already you already know tail is up here with uh brooke but i would definitely put tail in front of brooke and then diana would be up here as well so what? Let's just knock Brooke down to A. Um, tell Diana, obviously. So first, second, and then third. Um, I would say they're tied for third. Mm, actually, I would say tell Diana, Liv, and then either of these two, uh, Darby or Brooke. I would say Brooke is probably better than all of them though because he has a silence so let's go one two three and then four and then five uh who else is the other rangers she's dog shit so i would just put her like b or c um renin a lot of aoe a lot of uh pretty much damage in aoe so i would put her like behind darby because Darby's passive is very, very underrated in my opinion. Um, honestly, I want to put her ahead of Liv in my opinion. Uh, 
yeah i think that's it for the rangers let me just check really quick this guy's a mage right or a priest or some shit let's just do priest really quick uh so fiora is obviously a i put her s tier and then uh margaret's obviously s tier um then you have uh lucia i would say she's like a or b she's not that great so i would throw her b this guy's pretty good um this is an assassin dog shit this guy's an assassin he's dog shit um yeah let's move on to mages we just knocked that out really quick priests are quite easy and then you have i think her name is Siver or severe she's right here she's god tier but she again she's a shadow so don't cross your fingers on um getting duplicates of her uh oh yeah she's a tank as well but she's definitely dog shit they give you her for free so that's how you know she's dog shit um so mages so i'm definitely putting this guy in s i would say she's s because her ultimate is disgustingly overpowered um froda would be a uh this guy's like c he's dog shit i imo this guy's b because he has an explosive every time he blows someone up i would say this guy's a b because he can freeze people or we can even throw him in the A party. But these two are god tier. Uh, she's a shitty priest. Um, and this guy is pretty much useless. He just spreads damage. Um, that's pretty much it for the tier list. Sorry if I went really, really fast. But again, I already have videos going super in depth on what hero does what and their ranking and all of that stuff. If you just go back to the previous videos. But this is just an updated um, video. If you guys care so much about the the, sh the shadow and light heroes, like, bro, honestly, they're all fucking good. Like, if you need a mage, go with the mage. I think that's him or him. Um, This guy, I think, might be the assassin, and this is an assassin. She's good. Like, I don't want to discuss the light and shadow heroes because they're all very, very good. The only bad thing is it's getting duplicates of them is nearly in fucking possible. Unless you want to spend 5k diamonds every time to use the uh, portal of prey. And even that, the percentage on getting the uh, hero is like 5 or 6% or something like that. It might be 10%, but it's still not worth for 5,000 diamonds. Unless you're just buying diamonds, then... By all means, go for it. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for the video, guys. Hopefully, this was helpful. Um, I know I kind of went through it very, very quick. But trust me, uh, much hasn't changed with the game. I've actually been hit up recently from an... Uh, he said he works for the uh, operations of um, Valor Legends. And they're supposed to be releasing a lot of new content very, very soon. So... Be looking forward to that, guys. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'm out, guys. Peace.